हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्नेट गाइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एफ टी ऑन वी एम वेयर सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट एफ टी डी इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एस ए फायर वॉल एंड फायर पावर इट्स कम्बाइंड ऑल फीचर्स इन सिंगल बॉक्स बिकॉज इट्स ऑल्सो हैज फीचर ऑफ यू आर एल फिल्टरिंग एंड अप्लीकेशन फिल्टरिंग ऑल थिंग्स इज देयर सो फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट complete course of ngfw next generation firewall tutorial okay so we will see how to install aptd okay first we will install aptd then we will see how to install fmc because aptd can be managed by either local okay fdm or it can be managed by fmc okay friends FMC एम सी इज ए फायर पावर मैनेजमेंट सेंटर फायर पावर मैनेजमेंट सेंटर इट्स यूज टू मैनेज आवर एफ टी डी ओके सो फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट वी विल इंस्टॉल एफ टी डी ऑन बी एम वेयर एंड देन विल सी हाउ इट कैन बी मैनेज बाई हाउ इट कैन बी मैनेज बाई लोकली वाया वाया एफ डी एम देन वी विल इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल इंस्टॉल एफ एम सी एंड विल ज्वाइन एफ टी डी विथ एफ एम सी फर्स्ट वी विल डाउनलोड एफ टी डी एफ टी डी आई ओ एस from cisco site okay then we will install on vmware so friend let me show you how to download first go to download cisco software.com click on browse and click on security then click on firewall generation firewall and gfw so we have to download virtual image firepower and gfw virtual click here now select here aptd firepower threat defense now in this video we are going to install 6.4.0 version 6.4.0 so friends you can see there is a multiple ios is here it's for azure this is for upgrade so we have to download virtual image aptd v click here to download you have to login so friends you have to login with your account okay then you can download so let me show you i have already downloaded this one you will get tar file okay so i have already extracted it so let me show you image now friends you can see this is a opa file okay open virtualization so just double click on it and select accept okay you have to give virtual machine name ftd v you can give up to the virtual now click on next now you have to select path where you have to install and click on next now you can see it's already showing a uh, four core eight gb eight core 16 gb so i'm i'm going to select four core eight gb now click on next so friends you can see you can give ip address password here okay so we'll see later and during installation how to give ip and password now click on import here now it's importing actually virtual on vmware you can press enter okay press enter here now friends you can see installation is started it will take time so so i'm going to pause this recording now friends you can see we have successfully installed it okay now just log in with your id and password admin admin123 okay so friends you can see we have login successfully now we have to accept it agreements now press enter okay now you can see this is agreement you have to accept it now type yes that you have accepted now enter the password you must change your admin password here type here your password and confirm it now we have to provide your ip address aptd ip address appliance ip address yes no i don't want to configure ip version 6 
okay i have to configure with manual now you have to provide your ip address 20.10 enter now provide subnet mask 0 now provide gateway 192.168.70.1 I don't have DNS okay uh, so this is a lab so I will be anything yes, I'm giving known here unknown I don't have any DNS so friends you can see here manage the device locally if you enable this feature you can manage your device locally with FDM okay so let me show you so friends if you will enable that feature you can manage your FTD with local via FDM firepower device manager okay it's a locally in box feature okay but with FDM what is the drawback of FDM with FDM you can manage only single device okay only single device and with FMC you can manage multiple device you can create HA you can manage multiple HA okay HA deployment you can manage multiple firepower device okay so so friends right now we are going to manage via FDM okay we'll see how to manage it via FDM locally so friends first we manage locally via FDM okay just enable this feature and we'll later we'll see how to manage with FMC okay okay you can see we have successfully installed you can see so just you can check here version which version we have installed here okay firepower thread defense for VMware so friends now we can also manage with fdm so let's log in okay with fdm 70.10 now okay you can see we are able to access on gui let's log in on gui admin put password here so friends you can see we have successfully log in on fdm we have managed it locally okay local box so from here you can see it's showing its interfaces this is my inside interface and this is outside internet interface here okay we can exit escape device setup here just confirm evaluation and it is confirm here okay so monitoring its dashboard it will show software version rule update average throughput it will show throughputs here from here you can check cpu usage memory usage disk usage of the device and we can configure our interfaces here you can see this is interfaces so if you want to provide ip address on this interface okay let me show you how we can provide ip address on this interface this is my inside zone you can select a static or DSP and provide IP address on interfaces here. Okay, standby IP for another fire FTD. Okay, now from here we can create policies. You can see this is my inside zone and this is outside zone. From here we can create policy. See inside zone applications, URL, users, intrusion policy. Okay after create you can deploy from here on your you can see last deployment complete successfully create policy you can deploy from here deploy now so deployment task on job okay what is it? deployment is progress is in progress so friends it will take time so i'm going to cancel this okay because i don't have any policy now friends here you can see how we can able to manage with locally if you want to manage with fmc okay firepower management center 
let me show you how we can check so managers you can see manage locally to manage with fmc so what we have to do configure manager delete okay we have to run this command to delete configure manager yes now you will not able to manage with locally firepower device manager now if you want now to manage with fmc we have to configure here configure manager provide ip add okay add provide now you can provide ip address of fmc okay now you have to provide key here key registration key so i will provide key cisco one two three it is required during when you will add this update on fmc okay you have to remember this key just press enter now friends it will able to manage via fmc firepower management center so let's check manager so managers so still it's pending because so i have not joined with manage fmc because so friends currently i have not installed fmc okay so next video we will see how to install fmc okay on vmware then after that we'll see how to join aptitude to fmc okay so friends in this video you have seen how to install fm aptitude on vmware so okay so thanks for watching this video have a nice day